Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. To understand the concept very clearly, please watch the video till the end. Once you are done with watching the video, do not forget to like, comment, subscribe and hit the bell icon. Today we are going to see the fifth part of character function series. So, as in the previous video, you saw how you can use substr function to replace a part of a a uh, string variable or maybe a character variable today we're gonna see two more functions which can be used to replace some part of a string or a character variable the first one we're gonna see is tran word so in short it is written as tran wrd but it is the abbreviated form of tran word let's look at the definition it says it replaces all occurrences of a specific word in a given string. For example, if you have a string, something like this, Thomas Chris map author, right? And if you want to replace map author and you want to make it Thomas Cruz enough. So for that, you can use tran word. When you use tran word, this map other thing will be changed to enough. Now let's look back to the definition it says all occurrences all right so if you have more than one map author in one string variable in one string value it will replace all of them let's look at another example so here you can see boy is written twice here is boy is written twice and uh, if you use tran word you can change it something like this all right so what has changed this boy has been changed to girl meaning previously it was written as john is a good boy now it shows john is a good girl all right now again that boy is naughty after using the tran word it becomes that girl is naughty so what ever you specify and if that occurs more than once in a string all of them will be replaced that's the moral of the story let's look at the syntax so here is the syntax first you need to type the function name and then you need to provide the variable here the variable name is name then you have to say replace what sas asks you what is it that you want to replace so in this example map other you wanted to replace so you need to provide map other over here and here you need to provide that value which you want to put in place of map other so that was enough so you need to put enough over here now let's go to the sas and see how we can do that all right so let's change this and create a data name and put Thomas Cruz map author. So that's the actual value. Now we need to create a changed thing. All right. For that, we're going to use tran wrd. Okay. Provide the variable name. Put the value which you want to change. That is, first let me hide all of these things. Okay that could be distracting so what is it that you want to replace map author and what is it that you want to put in place of this enough all right let's run this thing and see the output oops okay let me just have this print print Proc print data equals to sample and then run. Now let's have this selected and run. Okay. Now you see on this here the map other part has been changed to enough. So this is how you can use the sub str function to change. A part of this string now let's look at the another example this one john is a good boy and that boy is naughty second example i'm putting the variable name as second oops example tran word and then 
I'm sorry. First, we need to enter the value, which is John is a boy, good boy that boy is naughty all right now we have to change changed to okay fan word provide this variable name all right and then what is it that you want to change boy and what is it that you want to make girl all right so now let's run this again and look at the thing let's focus over here now you can see here it was boy here it was also boy and both of these two value have been converted to girl all right so this is how you can change a word in a given string this is what Tran word is used for so that was the very uh, basic example which you don't have to do very frequently in your day-to-day -day job so what is it that you may get to do so let's look at another example here we have a data similar data you may get in your job so what is it wrong which you see over here look at this example look at this name its name is miss raju while in general raju is a boy name it's a male name all right and you you can see also the gender is given male but the title is miss which indicates it's a female all right similarly over here if you see the gender is female but the title indicates it's a male so this is something which is wrong and you have to correct this thing in accordance with this gender all right so how you can do that that there you can use the tran word function all right let's try that data sample two and set name list okay now we're gonna use the if function we would say we would say sas check the gender if it is male and the title is ms then change is to mr and same goes with female if the gender is f and if that is mr then change that to miss all right let's try that if up case gender equals to male then we're gonna say look at the variable name its name and we're gonna create another variable which is name to equals to tran word and provide the variable name which is name and what is it that you have to change ms if it is given ms then make it to mr all right so this is the first condition which you have to provide okay else if else if if and if else if and else if function i have explained in my previous videos if you have not seen that yet just go and watch that the link is showing at the upper top corner okay else if same thing we're gonna provide over here just a reverse of this else if gender is female and this is opposite i mean if gender is female then convert mr to miss else name to equals to name meaning keep as it is all right and let's run this let's look at the result okay now if you see previously it was male and the title was miss now it has been changed based on the gender when it is male it is mr when it is female it is miss can you see that so this is how you can use tran word very effectively effectively in your work now let's look at the another 
function which is translate this is it replaces specific characters in a given character expression for example if you have a name Samir okay and if we want to replace this a and m with and convert the, uh, with i and x all right then you can it see Samir is a complete word so you cannot use tran word over here to change these two characters for that you will have to change translate so the main difference between tran word and translate is tran word is used to replace a uh, word or maybe all the occurrences of a specific word while the translate is used to change the characters all right so here this a has been changed to i and m is changed to x let's let's look at the syntax so if you see the syntax is almost same just it's a slightly change i'm sorry there is a problem in this syntax it shouldn't be tran tran word it should be translate all right So let me come to this translate it is translate all right so first you need to provide translate then the variable name which contains the value and in tran word you had to first provide what is it that you want to replace and then you want you had to put what is it that you want to make it but here the situation is different first you need to provide that value which you want to make and then you need to provide the old value what is it that you want to change okay so let's look at another example data sample 3 and create a name which is Samir and then you can put run but we have to use the translate function so we're gonna use create another variable which is name to and then what is it that we want to make we want to make i and x changing what a and m let's run this okay now run this all right so you can see a is replaced with i m is replaced with x so the situation cannot be different it will never happen that the second variable is replaced with the first one and the first one is replaced with second second i mean to say that it would never happen that this m is replaced by i and this a is replaced by x let's look at an another example here i put something like z all right so now what this function will do it will go to the name variable and try to look for a and z all right so it will find a but it does not find change z so what will happen this will just change a to i and that uh, the next value m will not be changed because here we have asked to look for z in the next step all right but in the next step it does not find z anywhere so it will not replace that value so you don't have to be worried that uh, it will do something wrong if it finds a matching then only it will replace otherwise it will not replace okay look at here only a is changed to i but m is not changed because we didn't ask it to change m here we asked it to change z while z was not available in this variable value okay so this is how you can use translate function in your sas project to change a character in a given string so i encourage you to make a project and use tran word and translate function effectively and if you are getting any sort of error, any kind of problem, just put your code in the comment section. I'll definitely help you with that. Thank you very much for watching the video. Wish you very good luck.